Hey, Joe Cummings from Missoula River Lodge, checking in after the last few days of fishing. It was mainly with the family, uh, jumping in rivers instead of casting flies in rivers. But the, our staff's been out kind of all over the board. Uh, had a few tough days, uh, one particularly rough day on the Blackfoot, um, and then it followed up the next day with a really strong day, uh, single dries. So it kind of whipsawed on that river. Uh, Middle Bitter, it's been doing the same thing, one really good day and then one kind of tough day. So been, been kind of ups and downs. Upper Bitter, it's been solid all the way across. Um, Clark Fork's probably been the most solid for bigger fish. Um, not a lot of numbers, but good. So but that's what that river does, good solid numbers. Uh, traffic way, way down, a lot of, not a lot of tubers, in the wrong sections, a lot of tubers, but not a lot of hardcore fishing boats out right now, at least not where we've, when, where we've been. So it's been nice. We don't have hood owls, we don't have any smoke, knock on wood, we don't get any, and uh, this is when we cruise. It'll be this nice, stable, as long as we don't, something radical doesn't happen, like catch on fire, um, It'll stay this way until the end of August, and then the end of August it'll ramp back up in terms of more and more anglers showing up. This is the midsummer for us. It's a nice time to be here. Uh, so, B plus ish, A minus ish fishing, nice stuff. Um, after a crappy June that was like maybe a C, so it's better um, and. I like it. I like this time of year. I do. I probably like it the best, to be honest. A lot of guys don't. I, I kind of like this time of year. It's quiet. You can sneak around. Part two, stories from the river. Um, having dinner with one of their lodge guests uh, last night and brought up what is a turd. You're going to see us talk about this fly or hear us talk about this fly. It's what size turd did you have? Was it a size 8 turd? Was it a size 10 turd? We're not the only ones. Everybody throws turds. But what is a turd? A turd is a pat stone. It's a rubber leg fly that came through, uh, I don't know, maybe 14 years ago. Uh, guys fished on a dropper um, under a puffy, right? So a puffy is a big, big dry fly, big wing on it, and they fish puffy turd. So you see. Puffy turd, what size puffy, what size turd. But it's actually a pat stone fly. I personally don't like the rig. I didn't like it when it came through. Um, it's, it's a big sloppy rig, but it's incredibly effective. Um, and it's not uh, effective so much everywhere, but in a very particular type of water, um, it can be pretty vicious. Uh, one of the, when I was fighting the turd, which I didn't want it around, I was mainly single dry fly fishing um, the whole time. Uh, Brooks and I were running the lower bitter, this is about 12, 14 years ago, and um, I had a pretty good day. We had landed 18 rainbows over 17 inches with one angler, and we had maybe 30 eat it, and it was uh, single dry, head of the boat, good fishing. Brooks in the backs fishing this. Uh, puffy turd rig and he let me fish first water the whole way. I felt pretty good at the ramp, I, you know, 18 nice fish on a dry and um, had first water. I was wondering why Brooks was hanging back. Well, he came through later when we were pulling the boat and I said, well, how do you do with your stupid turd rig? You know, I'm fishing single dries, you're fishing this big dry, big dropper. Good job, dude. I'm doing it the right way. He said we landed 67 rainbows. So I went over to his box and I grabbed a bunch of turds <laughs> and I learned what they are, which is a pat stone. So it's, and now that's, you know, that's 14 years ago when these fish hadn't seen them. Now everybody does it. So now you have to dial in sizes and dial in depths. And some days it doesn't work because they've seen that, right? And actually there's been a fair amount of resurgence of single dry flies because it all goes in cycles. But Ryan, <laughs> Ryan d didn't like the rig as much as I don't like the rig. I fish it because it produces, and that's what you pay us to do is produce. So uh, he calls it uh, bird and a turd, which is a big dry fly. They're huge dry flies. If you see us, they've got giant wings. Um, another one we call it is the outhouse rig, big puffy on top. 
um, turd under. Um, and then a perversion of that rig is called the chubby checker. And the chubby checker is a chubby, which is the same name for a puffy, um, but then put a check nymph under it. So he calls that the chubby checker. Uh, Ryan's nickname is also Bust the Chines. So he's funny. He's been with us a long time. Funny guy. Um, and he, he has a nice twist on the turd rigs that are around. So uh, the story from the river today was about the turd. Um, as much as I hate it, it is effective. Uh, not as effective as it was 10 years ago, but still a fly you have in your bag. Um, and you can get addicted to the outhouse rig if you <laughs> like giant dry flies and um, big heavy droppers underneath. Very effective. So we're moving through the summer, and I'm sticking with the no hoot owl prognostication, and I'm sticking with uh, no fire prognostication. So I control the forests and the rivers. It's part of my, um, my wizarding ability. I also control the supply of turds to the fly shops in Missoula, because I noticed they ran, everybody ran out of the size eights about three weeks ago. That was due to my crafty plan to deprive you of the right size turds for your bird and turd rigs. Have a good day. Joe Cummings, um, Missoula River Lodge, still salty, still a man boy. See you later. <laughs>